Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for coming. You are welcome to my channel. Today guys, I'm going to show you how to break out of poverty, how to leave any difficult situation. So if you are in any difficult situation or you are experiencing one problem to another, whatever you are passing through, you are going to break out. God is going to change your story. Your life is going to change. You are going to have a different kind of life if you can do this. But before we start, try to subscribe if you have not and turn on the bell so that whenever I upload videos like this, you come and watch and receive your miracle. God will bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Amen. So what I want you to do is to always confess your sin and ask for forgiveness. This is one sure way to receive breakthrough. Sin can hinder our prayers. There are some sins you commit. You need to confess these sins if you need freedom. Because darkness and light cannot come together. Sin is darkness. God is light. I hope you know that. God Almighty is light. And you are in darkness. Pray to God who is in light. It cannot coexist. So what you need to do is to confess your sin. Confess it out and ask for forgiveness. I'm not saying that you must go to a pastor to confess your sin. Whenever you are praying, ask for forgiveness and confess your sins. It is very important and very effective for deliverance and breakthrough. If you have stolen, tell God I have stolen. If you have lied, tell God you have lied. Confess your sin. Don't just assume that God knows. He sees everything. Fine. He sees everything, but you need to confess. Confession is the first stage of repentance. When you confess your sin and ask for forgiveness, my dear, your way will be opened for you to start praying. The reason why you pray and pray and pray and yet you get no answer and you feel that it is not yet God's time. You are wasting your time. There is nothing like it is not God's time. God is not listening to you. God did not even set his time for that problem because you are still in darkness. He's not seeing you. You need to leave your sin. Confess your sin and ask for forgiveness. This is one way to receive breakthrough. So now, we are going to look at Psalm 32 to hear what God has to say about confession and forgiveness. Happy are those whose sins are forgiven, whose wrongs are pardoned. Happy is the one whom the Lord does not accuse of doing wrong, and who is free from all deceit. When I did not confess my sins, I was worn out from crying all day long. Are you seeing that? Day and night you punished me, Lord. My strength was completely drained, as moisture is dried up by summer heat. Then I confessed my sins to you. I did not conceal my wrongdoings. I decided to confess them to you, and you forgave all my sins. So all your loyal people should pray to you in times of need. When a great flood of trouble comes rushing in, it will not reach them. You are my hiding place. You will save me from trouble. I will sing aloud of your salvation because you protect me. The Lord says, I will teach you the way you should go. I will instruct you and advise you. So you have seen the power of confession and forgiveness. By the way, I'm using Good News version. You can use any version of the Bible you have. Okay? So you can see the power of confession and forgiveness. When you commit sin, Without confession, God punishes. I hope you know that, that God punishes us for our sins. The only way to escape that, the only way to plead for mercy is to confess your sin and repent. If not, you will incur the wrath of God. So when God wants to punish you, you are still asking him for something else. That problem you are facing might be as a result of the punishment of God. That difficult situation might be as a result of the punishment of God. That sickness that has refused to go might be as a result of the punishment of God. It is not always witches and wizards. 
diabolical powers. No, it can be that God is punishing you for your sins. God punishes. The way God is merciful is anger. <laughs> the lost anger is fierce, very fierce. Only forgiveness, apologies, and repentance can pacify God. Even with that, you need to confess your sin. So if you have been going through a difficult situation for so long, you have been facing one problem or different problems. There are some people, they face different problems at the same time. Only you, you are sick, no money, this or that. My child is not fine. And yet, things are happening that are bad. When you are facing all of this, go on your knees and tell God to forgive you. Don't feel that whenever you have a problem, it is always witches and wizards or diabolical powers. It could be. It could be, but at times, you might be suffering from the punishment of God. But God has a good heart. He can easily forgive you and wipe away all those things if you can confess your sins. Confessing your sin does not just mean, I'm sorry, Lord, I'm sorry. No, confess that thing you have done. Show God that you're not hiding it. Confess it out while praying to Him and asking for forgiveness. And while doing that prayer, do not ask Him for anything. At times, when you have sinned a lot, go on your knees. All you need to say while praying is to say, God, forgive me. God, I'm sorry. I have done this. I have done things terrible in your sight. Please have mercy. I surrender to you. Forgive me. Don't ask for anything. At this point, you don't deserve anything. But some people, they will just say, I'm sorry. Immediately, they will start asking God, please God. No. No. Dedicate time to plead for forgiveness. Tell God you are sorry. You don't need to tell God, I need this, I need that. God sees your problem. He's not blind. He knows what you are going through. He sees you in that difficult situation. He sees you in that difficult situation. He knows how to help you, even without you saying it. So just tell God you are sorry. Beg for mercy. And that alone will bring about His mercy. When you have the lost mercy, when you have the lost mercy, things will start working well for you. That problem that you have been praying for for so long, forgiveness, prayer, confession, will put an end to that problem. Your situation will change. When God is at peace with you, <laughs> when God is happy with you, when God pardoned your sin, everything will begin to work out very fine. Your business will progress. You will receive helpers. You will receive helpers. You will see your doors getting opened. All you ever desire, He would give them all to you. Any blessing that God has designed for you will never pass you by. He will bless you and give you your heart desire. In the name of Jesus, amen.